So hi, I'm at the Love Gallery today with Kevin Vinson, and he's just going to tell me a bit about himself. So, Kevin, what makes you an artist? Maybe because I paint. <laughs> just engaging with um, the practice of painting, I think, has allowed me the experience to, I guess, call myself an artist as one. You know, I, the, the story I usually give is from uh, when I was a, a young boy. Um, my mother used to say that she used to get to sleep. From just giving me a pen and a paper. Yeah, yeah. You know? So I think uh, you know, keeping myself occupied during these times, um, especially when she was like a single parent and just me alone, here, you know, the only child on her side, that kind of thing. You know, it, it grew and then it became something that more and more. Um, so it is a, a. It became just. It became more than a hobby. Okay. It became a, a passion. The, the, the action of painting. You know what I mean? Yeah, the action of or the idea of creating something from I guess nothing. So you mentioned that because you're a painter, because you have a painting practice, that that's what kind of defines you as an artist. So if you're not painting, do you still consider yourself an artist? Do you feel like beyond the studio, beyond being a painter, that you still identify as being an artist? Yes, for sure. Um, and that's because of um, just ideas. Just, okay. just how we think about things, how we uh, engage um, things outside the realm of art. Mm. So, um, probably music. Not that I create music, but I mean, uh, probably how I digest music or okay. enjoy music. Um, when I'm not painting, I, I, I'm um, pretty much, um, I don't know, like just finding other ways to make art work, you okay. know, like um, drawing or, or, or uh, uh, making something out of know, ink or cardboard, you know, just finding other things to do okay. the time, you know. And you're a visual arts teacher as well, right, at yes. secondary school level. Correct. So you can tell me kind of maybe how that plays into your practice, if that has helped you in any way, if that mm -hmm. has kind of taken away time, how, how do you balance your painting practice with your work life with your mm -hmm. every everyday dealings you know mm -hmm. there is a challenge it, it continues to be a challenge um, it, it does take the, the work sometimes um, takes time away mm -hmm. from um, you know allowing you to freely get up in the morning and go into the canvas and just paint mm -hmm. what i want how i want for how long yeah. i want um, that's that, I, and that's my desire really, to just get up and just play a campaign. But um, it takes time, but at the same time, um, the positives to being a, a, a teacher is um, it's why you uh, why you have to teach someone, you know, like you know, bestow I guess the knowledge onto a younger generation. You yourself learn. And uh, it's an opportunity for you to even learn from the students yeah. because this generation yeah. is way different from you know what we what we are accustomed to. So there's a lot to learn from them in the way in which they approach art, the innocence of, of how mm -hmm. they how they think about it, the innocence to their um, so when it be mark making um, their process, which yeah. just are a lot of different things that you could gain for yourself, you know. And um, I think it kind of helps to concretize uh, your own process, so like yeah. being able to um, probably articulate the steps taken mm -hmm. to get to that part. It kind of reinforces the process in your mind yes. because now you have to express it to someone else and make sure they're able to understand it, yeah. engage it, and do it. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And well, if your students are watching this, what's one thing you have to tell them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be encouraged, be encouraged, you know, be encouraged and make art, um, okay. you know, don't be afraid to make your mistakes, yeah. just yeah. create, just open up, just let your mind run free. Okay. <laughs>